So if you take a look at the calipers right here, um, these are actually the factory calipers. Uh, they were on the car when I acquired it. They were all rusted out and beat up and frozen. And I was able to actually rebuild them and restore them. They have new pistons in them. Um, I painted them with cast iron paint. So they look brand spanking new. All the hardware's new in there. Got some very nice brake pads, ceramic brake pads, uh, ceramic, and their ceramic slash graphite brake pads. The rotors are actually the factory rotors as well. They were in pretty good shape, so um, we I had those turned. If you look at the brake lines, I had all. So if you look at the brake lines, I have all brand new stainless steel brake lines. Going all the way back here. I also, uh, the emergency brake cable's all brand new. Everything's all brand new here. We come back around, take a look at the rear of the vehicle, or the frame, I should say, uh, the chassis. Brand new springs. Uh, the car, for, luckily, uh, Posi Track was a factory option. Uh, however, this car did have it. I, I checked the axle numbers and everything, so it has a Posi Track in it. I had it uh, checked and everything. Everything is good um, on the Posi Track, and everything's been went through on that. Uh, the rear brakes of all are all brand new. I rebuilt that. Um, so one way to tell that uh, the car is a true SS, besides the badging, if, if let's say you were trying to investigate a car that didn't have all of the, the trim on the vehicle, is to take a look for the factory uh, air ride leveling system. This was standard on the SS, um, 70 and 71 SS. Um, and I want to mention this is a 1971, which is a rare model. They only made 1,919 of them in 1971. And you can take a look at the air shocks, they're all brand new. 